I'm Denvi Dung and this is my co-host Hoku and she's up for adoption. Find out more about her after our first segment. My dog Roxy, she's going through an identity crisis. She thinks she's a cat, she poops like a horse. She's got ADD and is the only official parkour dog. My name is Ozzy, I'm a parkour practitioner and founder of Hawaii Parkour. Been doing parkour for a couple of years now. And uh, being a student of motion uh, and, and the natural abilities of the body and having such, a, such an incredible dog, I couldn't help but um, try to encourage her to develop her natural skills as, a, as an animal. And uh, she's come a long way uh, throughout all of the, the time that I've been training. She's been with me, she comes with us and trains at our, our jams and training sessions and she never seems to amaze me. Basically, we use her as an example of how to perform properly because the way that she moves is just so natural and primal that it's just an inspiration for all of us. Come on, girl. You got it. Good girl. Parkour. What parkour is, is a method of training where, uh, in which we train our bodies and minds to be able to overcome obstacles whether they're urban or natural, just to be able to respond and uh, perform it properly in a situation, whether it is for an emergency or just for ha to have fun. I've been teaching parkour for over a year now. Ever since I started doing parkour, Rox has been right by my side and she never ceased to amaze me. Just the way that she moves, she's very exploratory and uh, it's always looking for a new toy to jump on top of. Up, go that way. Good girl. People ask me how I train her, and the reality is I don't train her to do all of these Ready, jumps. On, what up. I do is I encourage her to do on, it because on, she already has the natural ability and, and curiosity on, for what she can do. Up, up, so what I try up. to do is not stop go. her from doing the things that she can do. I take her out with me every time I'm running, and then I encourage her to, you know, jump over some rails, uh, over some walls. It's actually the highest wall she's gone so far. And progressively, just like we train, I don't want to get it on a wall that's, you know, 10 feet up and have her jumping. We started jumping on little walls, and now we are even working on getting her to climb some trees. So as we continue to develop her skills, it's, it's just amazing what she manages to do. Now with the skill that she's developed, I have to be careful of where I leave her at because if there is some low fences that most dogs wouldn't, wouldn't jump, she has no problem just getting over just to get to where I am. Roxy is almost two years old and she's a tight reach back mix. The future for Roxy holds a lot more training and just basically continue to develop her skills on a very safe and progressive manner just, just to see how much more is she capable of. If you guys are curious about what it is that I do, you guys can check out hawaiipk.com. That's Hawaii, PS and Paul, KS and Kilo.com. Or you can also go to AmericanParkour.com and you'll find all kinds of information on how to get started on parkour.